Hi there. Today in How It's Made, we're going to look at a plane. It's one of the plane's most important parts. Just like every bird has legs, every plane must have a landing gear. Alright, before we go we move on to see how a landing gear made, is made, let's explore some of this part. Let's start with the part right here called the tow fitting, which is used to connect to the tow vehicle to move the plane on the ground. Behind here we've got the shock observer, which is probably one of the heaviest parts of landing gear that absorbs all the energy during touchdown. And the part behind here is helps with the shock observer and is called the torque link ASI. Moving up, we've got two more important parts. The black part being the drag link ASI and the part behind being the tri-union, which occurs in almost all landing gears. This big part right here it helps the landing gear turn when on the ground. Combine the system, the landing gear allows the plane to successfully maneuver and at the same time make a successful landing in many harsh conditions. Now let's go see how it's made. Okay, now here start with the manufacturing department of some companies. First, design DAP models on CAD 2. Dynamics test models with CAD 2. Stats, they analyze the material and sizing choice test, perform test to verify its passes, decorations, support, assist with the manufacturing and maintenance of current landing gears. At last, research and development, they find a way to make a manufacturing more efficient this picture shows the main part of the landing gear, which is called shock start. Now we will see how it's made. This, this is the machine that's made the main part. This digital less machine. A rest is used to create leathery symmetric parts, which is our main shaft. The shaft is placed in the work area and secure with the tail stock to reduce vibration. The motor turns the workpiece and the sharp tools are digitally controlled to machine the sharp. Water and oil used to lubricate and cool the process. Okay, we will see the three Social M still used to be the main part because it is high stand and high fracture target. The steel billet uh, is now to be. However, other process need to solve corrosion fatigue, state corrosion cracking. Okay, this picture shows uh, how this machine works. For excavate interiors, in machine, boring is the process of enlarging a hole that has already been drilled. For example, as engine cylinder, when you, when you use boring tool to drill the, uh, feed direction, to drill the hole in feed direction, as a result, it achieves greater accuracy of the diameter of a hole. Uh, for surface treatments by milling, surfaces must be perfect as we are in the aerospace industry. Precision cutting tools are most commonly used with high tolerance. Um, the machine is the shaft is now almost completed. This digitally controlled machine has three axes and does the verification with extreme precision. Another unit allows for the machine part with greater dimensions. The facility also reconditions use landing gear such as this one from the Boeing 707. For now, that's uh, now it's time for the short pinning. Oh my God. 
Now, now is time for life attention processes. The short pinning is a co-working process in which small spherical media, such as steel balls, steel balls are fired at past surfaces to increase it to further the product life by increasing its resistance to fatigue. You know what fatigue is the dynamic state failure of a part by cyclic loading over a long period of time. Capmium plating dip a part in a solution for 10 minutes for corrosion resistance and then dip in weak chromic acid H2CrO4. It is an oxidant used to clean the surface. Part is later dipped in water to clean the acid away to prevent long-term reaction. Now it's time for baking. Put the part in the oven for 23 hours with 190 degrees Celsius to remove hydrogen from plating process. How to fit part for assembly? Part that need to be fit with very close tolerance are dipped in liquid nitrogen to shrink it. After it falls into its position by hydraulic jack, it is then heat to expand and this produces an extremely strong seal. In the final process, painting and f further baking, publication fin finished with paint bake in an oven. It takes six to eight months to make a new landing gear, and between six to eight weeks to recondition a used one. The company called Sapphire Mercier Bugatti Downey has introduced a new material to make the landing gear, which is a composite. It has been used for the new Boeing 7A7 Dreamliner. The benefit is to replacing exiting steel with titanium and composite as it is lighter and more corrosion resistant. However, in long term reliability, and no as composites are still quite new material, including processes involved 3D weaving of fiber, resin transfer, molding, and T forming for joining material. Landing gears take almost 4% of an aircraft's takeoff weight. 4%, that's almost 2,000 kilograms. Wow, that's a lot of weight. Additionally, a typical landing gear program can cost between 10 to $12 million for an aircraft like the Boeing 737, which is behind me. Believe it or not, the pressure inside the tires of a landing gear is almost nine times that of the atmosphere. Well, combining that, I'd say a landing gear is one tough beast. Thank you for watching.